How to run Google Ads for Shopify 2023 full setup and tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you on how you can use your you know text brush and I'm gonna be showing you how to run some Google Ads for your Shopify store. And the process is actually not that hard. So in order to get you started, you need to have both access to Google account, which is your ads account and Shopify account and uh, totally for free because they both have a trial version and the later on you can choose to stick around a basic plan or any other plan so basically to start things off i'm just going to go ahead and log in with both these accounts so i'm going to log in with my shopify store over here and i'm going to come over here to the google ads section and i'm going to go to that account as well so once you're in with both of your accounts what you can do from there, like as you can see, I'm currently signed in with my Gmail and you can just even start right now if you want to. Just click on the start now button and everything should be good to go. Uh, they're going to also ask you to, you know, set up as two step verification. If you want to go ahead with that, I would recommend you should go ahead with that. And as you can see, I'm into my uh, Shopify. I'm just going to go ahead and verify my Gmail. Okay. And once my Gmail and everything is good to go, from there on out, what we are going to be doing is we're gonna head into Google Ads account. Now, while we're into our Google Ads account, what's gonna happen from here is we're just gonna ask them some type of text or message. Now, once you're here uh, and you have your Google Ads account and Shopify fully set it up, you're gonna follow me into the dashboard and you're gonna come over to this app section over here. And over here, we're gonna go ahead and just write Google. And once you write Google, this will redirect you to, you know, your basic uh, Shopify app store. And over there, you're gonna see some different Shopify apps that we're gonna work with. So obviously over here, the app that we wanna go with is called Google and YouTube, okay? And it's gonna give us Google and YouTube install. Okay, so this is a separate sales channel for Google and YouTube where we can drive sales and reach more customers using these platforms, okay? So as I said, just click on install. And as you click on install, it's gonna load things up and here it says add sales channel, you know, as I told you. So Shopify Marketplace has this application and it's going to help you drive sales, reach more customers. So if you connect your Google account, this one should be helping you. So just add all the elements into your Google account. And now if you want to add Google ads inside on a specific, uh, you know, website or, you know, in this case, Shopify, what you're going to want to do is obviously access Google ads. OK, so first of all, you're going to click on connect Google account after the sales channel has been added. OK, so while you're connecting your Google account, make sure your Google ads is open in the left hand side over here. And uh, as you can see, my Google Ads is currently loading and there we are. So this is my Google Ads dashboard. And, you know, you can create separate sales channels that you want for yourself that you can obviously add onto your Shopify sales channel, which is also a pretty useful place to be adding your separate sales channels. Now, once we're over here into our overview, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come over here in our dashboard overview and once you come over here in our dashboard overview over here it's going to give us a few things like new campaign or and things like that so we're going to click on that and once you click on new campaign it's going to give us a few separate options like sales leads etc okay and uh, let's say i want people to find me using these sales or leads i want them to find me straight onto my shopify right so for my actual company obviously I will need to be focused on something that depends more on the company work. So I would rather go with leads. So leads means that getting leads and other conversions by encouraging customers. So leads is, you know, actual contacts. Sales is actually driving sales online by selling more products, okay, by marketing your products. Leads is more to gain contacts. Sales is more to gain profit, okay? So I hope that made sense for you. If it did, I'm going to choose leads for now. And once you choose leads here, it's going to give you more options, which is a campaign type. And each campaign gives us different, uh, you know, preferences, qualities, features, etc. For this search, performance max, display, shopping, video, discovery, demand gen, 
you know, it depends on whatever type of um, work you want to go with. And it also depends on the type of products that your store has. OK, now let's say there's a plush toy bunny and you want to sell those things on your store. You're obviously going to go with search because more people are going to search things like a Bonnie plush toy or a plush toy bunny, you know, things like that. So I would rather go with search. And here even here you can see it can help you get in front of high intent customers at the right time on Google search. OK, so it's a really great way to run Google ads on your Shopify. So moving on, you're going to come here where it says select the ways you like to reach your goal. OK, so it could be website visits, store visits, app downloads. I'm going to go with store visits and you can enter the location of the store on the next step as well. Uh, or you can even go with all of these. OK, so you can add your URLs and stuff. So let's say I'm going to go ahead over here and as you come over here, you're just going to copy the URL of your site, paste it over here. Same, do the same with the app downloads. Then you have form submissions. I'm just going to keep it on this. So you have form submissions as well. So, you know, what do you want from your ads? Do you want form submissions? I'm going to go with uh, yes. Then there's, you know, form submissions for your website. There's different things that you want to go with. Uh, I'm going to go with form submissions for your ads because that just gains more followers. And I'm going to click on continue. Then once you click on continue from there on out, it's going to give us an installed tag that you can add into your website. So creating campaign is easier than ever. Obviously, clearly, that is what we just did. What do you want to focus on? You know, you can focus on conversions, clicks, impressions. I'm going to go with conversions and then we're going to click on next. Once you click on next, these are obviously the geographical settings. You know, what country do you want more um, sales in? What country you want more traffic in, etc. All those things. So that depends on whatever you want at the end of the day. So choose all those settings. You're going to enter the URL of the website that you want this to actually be on or a URL scan for keywords. And uh, then there's these ads as well. OK, how the ads are going to actually look and you can, you know, edit lead forms, edit these leads ads. You can edit different display paths can be entered. And obviously this depends on the type of ads and working you want to go with. And once you've chosen all these things for yourself, you can set up an average daily budget. Like, let's say I'm going to keep it this much in my currency. Click on next. And here you can see your campaign is almost ready to publish. And you're probably wondering, how will you import this to your Shopify? Don't worry, it's just a piece of cake. You're going to finally publish your campaign, OK? And once you publish your campaign, all you're going to do is you're going to come over here, go to your POS, OK? You're going to go to your apps, go to the apps you uh, installed, right? And in the installed apps, obviously, we installed Google and YouTube, right? So you're going to go into the Google and YouTube sales channel, and from that sales channel, where you're going to be doing is you're going to be connecting your uh, Google and YouTube store to your Google account that you have your Google ads on. And here clearly your uh, ad has been or campaign has been published. And from there on out, you can associate it with your Google and YouTube. And that is how you are going to be, uh, you know, running Google ads for Shopify 2023 in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So, yeah. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.